I'd like to speak to you today about a particular type of French mirror, the Trumo mirror. Here are two examples, both from Paris and both from a similar age, about 1880. Even though one is much more pristine than the other, that probably came from a room with a, an open fire and possibly where people smoked a lot. So it has a heavier patina. A Trumo mirror you might find above a mantle but hung on its own, sometimes part of the boiserie, the panelling in a room. Typical of a Trumo mirror is you have a top section that is decorated with a trophy, with swags, and sometimes with a little picture, very often a hand-painted print. And here are two more examples of Trumo mirrors. Um, this is from Paris, very formal, with a Renaissance um, print that's watercolored and this dramatic deep blue with gilding almost reminds me of Russian furniture with the coloring and this from Greater Paris so not Paris center but Ile de France so it could be Versailles one of the one of the manor houses outside of Paris and possibly came from a music room hence the crossed musical instruments on this very chalky old white background. I love that one. And finally, this Trumeau mirror, a very modern looking thing, uh, made in the Art Deco period, uh, made in Paris in around 1930. And I love the contemporary feel that it has, and the almost Japanese style flowers, very stylized and the use of gold and bronze coloring as well as like a sage green. I find it very chic. Uh, I've left it typically in asphalt condition, so this needs to be cleaned and tidied up before it goes into someone's house. The accent on conservation rather than altering what's there. It's absolutely divine with the original beveled mirror.